So I could load an earlier game, but... Or I could just leave it at that for now and move on to the next one. Um... I would like to do one more. So, let's go to the main menu. Let's get another start. You you should be up. <laughs> well, when he well, but because of what happened. What is the skip button anyway? Oh yeah, skip. No, you know that's transitions. Not for choices. Yeah, all right. Yep, I'm still unloved. Okay, here we go. The first decision. I'm just gonna override it. it. We I got what appears to be the only way that thing can resolve. So. Okay, so last time I went together. Oh, but do I want to do this fractally where I just change the very last decision and move on from there? Or do I want to just man up and go alone right now? Oh, I'm sorry, mate. I gotta burn you later by my logic anyway, so man up and go alone. But what if something happens? Like what? You're in the super house of technology. If something goes wrong, a robot will probably pop out and save you. R really I do not articulate probably well. Probably not. Oh. He actually looks disappointed. Come on, let's just get moving. The three of us file into the hallway, it's lined with doors. At the end of the hallway, a glass door leads to a descending staircase. Alright, this is where we split up. Let's start at the end and work our way back. So, so there's the staircase and the two doors at the end. Do either of you have a preference? No. Um, I'd rather not go down there, if it's okay. Check it out! Now you don't have to go down the stairs, Naoki! Splitting up's awesome! Naoki points at the staircase. No surprise there. It's quiet and out of the way, and I have a sneaking suspicion that Naoki's afraid of being underground. Hmm. Uh, oh great, well here's another decision. I'm just gonna completely... <laughs> I will miss my old files, but... You know, you gotta, you gotta make sacrifices for this business, and also I have no idea what context is for them anyway, so they lose a lot of their impact. I'm not the type of guy to line up one for every ending anyway. I will take the staircase, Brave. Wait, no. Maybe I should... I'll take the staircase. Fine, I'll take the staircase. I turn and head down the stairwell. Although the hallway is brightly lit, not much of light spills over on the stairs. It's a straight path to the bottom, toward the end. I touch it and it beeps quietly, but it doesn't move. Really? I run my hand along the door's surface, looking for a handle, but it doesn't seem to be one. I push on the door and it beeps again, but it still refuses to budge. Sophia said that we had guest privileges, so I guess whatever's in here is up. Turn around, head back upstairs, so much for that. Neither Naoki nor, me, nor Lee May are in the hallway when I return. I suppose they're each exploring their respective rooms. I lean against the wall and shut my eyes. They'll probably be out shortly. Anything? I'm afraid not. The door is locked. What about you? Find anything interesting? Lee May nods. She looks pleased with herself. It's full oh. of work from ancient China. Oh yeah, that seems like that's legitimate happiness. For a brief moment, Lee May's expression actually displays a childish expression. For a brief moment, Lee Mei's face actually displays a childish expression of happiness. It's beautiful. So he's an art collector, then? No, those pieces are protective warts. Strange. Hey, did you find anything? Naoki appears from the first door in the hallway. He looks a little flustered. No, the door at the bottom was locked. Did something happen in there? There's a girl in there. Marissa. A girl! Oh man, nothing could be scarier, you dork. Alright, the, the reporter. I forgot she was wandering around here too. And? She's a little scary. And loud. She's not scary, but she is loud. I definitely remember Marissa being overbearing. But I don't know if I'd call her scary. She kept asking me all these questions about why we were here, and if I knew anything about Liam. I didn't know what to say. I guess it's kind of weird because he can remember her questions verbatim. But he still phrases them in general. Well, if nothing else, that girl is supremely nosy. But I think I knew that already. Did you tell her anything about the Sarah Blackmore case? Of course not! One, I mean, Aki wouldn't like oh, that. Chan. So he's, like, actually Japanese then? Of course, Aki. Well, unless they are total weebs and they adopted their current names after escaping. Are they the Kanzaki twins? I think they're the Kanzaki twins. I suspect that Naoki's entire life revolves around making sure Aki isn't unhappy. Talk about brotherly love. Then again, who am I to judge? Well, should we keep exploring the house? Yeah, let's get... 
Uh, here we go again. Whoa. I don't feel so good. Alright. I might as well do everything differently this time, right? Why don't I go down there instead? You? Yeah, why not? I know how to flip a few switches. Yeah, he could do it. Detective Grisky shrugs. Sure, why not? All right, the reboot process is fairly simple. Just flip all the switches off, then on, then push the reset button. Okay. I head down the stairs and back down the staircase. The door opens for me without any resistance. The basement is piled up high with wooden crates and dusty boxes. I wonder what Mr. Otten keeps in here. Switch box is on the far wall. I pry the cover open and it opens with a rusty squeal. Which is weird, you think they could oil that. The inside is just as Sophia described. I quickly flip the switches according to her instructions and the lights switch off, leaving nothing but the eerie glow of the emergency lights. Why they're green, I have no idea. I hit the reset button and after a few seconds I hear a quiet hum. The lights switch back on and I race back to the main hallway. Oh, I thought I'd be able to grab something here. Detective Gursky stops me as soon as I reach the top of the stairs. Sorry, kid. There's nothing you can do now. What do you mean? Detective Gursky glances at the office door as Sophia exits. She looks pretty shaken. Now he is at her side, supporting her. You were right about Mr. Rotten. He's dead. What? What happened? He was already dead when we got there. Sophia tried to revive him, but... Now he stops and glances at Detective Gursky uncomfortably. I stopped her. It was too risky. What do you mean? It's not important. What do you mean it's not important that he was poisoned? Detective Gursky approaches Sophia and places a hand on her shoulder. Sophia, I know you're upset, but we need to contact the police. My phone isn't getting any signal. All signal is blocked off in this place. Mr. Otten's orders, of course. Well, that's dumb. Is there a landline I can use, then? In there. Sophia lets go of Naoki and numbly points at the study door. I'll show you. As the two of them leave, Li Mei approaches us. Any sign of her distress from before has disappeared. Her expression is placid. He's gone. Yeah. Naoki, what happened in there? W well Naoki shifts back and forth as if he's not sure he should be saying anything. Mikolaj checked his pulse, but he was already dead. Oh my what Mo Shinil. You said Sophia tried to revive him? Yeah. She was going to use CPR, but Detective Gursky stopped her. Incorrect. She started using CPR and then was going to give him out the mouth. He said that Mr. Otten looked like he had been poisoned, and she might get poisoned herself if she tried mouth to mouth. Which isn't part of trying to resuscitate someone's heart anyway. That's if they're choking that you attempt to do that. Now he sighs. He looks pretty shaken himself. We should tell Aki what happened. But we don't know where she is. She's coming. Oh yeah, you know where she is. Creepy. Lee Mei turns towards the staircase just as Aki reaches the top. Hey, what happened? The lights went out? Mr. Otten died. Died? Poisoning, it seems. Did you read his last? I'm afraid not. Grisky won't let me in there. What about you? Did you see it? Oh right, I don't know about the vault now. Aki turns to Naoki and he nods. I got it. Good, then we'll take a look at it later. Detective Grisky exits the study with Sophia. She appears to have calmed down, but her body still trembles every time she breathes in. Yep. The police are on their way. It's I suggest we all- It's just a suggestion. I don't have it, but it's the best option. Okay, so now I don't have the lead about the vault, so by sending- By going instead of now, he, I may have just lost the power to get the vault. Always the gentleman. Huh? Nothing. Anyway, we should prop- What do you mean by that? This is why we're in trouble. Um. Oh yeah, here's the thing. What? Nothing. Well, that... What do you want to talk about, then? I don't know where you've been all these years or why. Yeah, yeah. I'll be lighter. I'll be different about everything, so... It's complicated. Things are only as complicated as you want them to be. That's not how it works. Aki told me the same thing this morning. Then maybe you should listen. I'd rather you don't get involved. This is something I have to deal with on my own. So it's the same thing. Sorry, kid. I'm sworn... Same conclusion. We'll what talk about think? this more later. I got a call this morning about my report from you. You know what? I'm glad I said the rude thing because what a dick. Are you They'd find you eventually. Yeah. yeah if it weren't sure. for Aki. Oh, I don't. 
The present ass. only. Whoa! Wow, we're up to here already. Hey, asshole. Probably a heart attack or something. We definitely do not suspect anyone of murder. Do not panic and, and stab someone! Surprised. He kept refusing to see a doctor. Man, Sophia would beg him to at least get a checkup. But he'd have none of that. Oh, I see. So if I tell Marissa that it's a murder, then she'll get onto it. But if I tell Kevin it's a murder, then he'll get suspicious. And if he's aware that Marissa's onto it, he kills her because she's hiding. Ah, oh, jeez. Don't quote me on that, though. I can't say for sure if it is or it isn't. Really is a shame, though. He was a good man. Did a lot of good work in the medical world. Kevin, man. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Otten Engineering was big into making fake organs and stuff. Oh, that's I hear they saved a lot of lives. Man, dead? Really? He shakes his head. Sorry, that's just too weird. I'm still having a hard time believing it. Are you? Kevin blinks a few times. If he's I'll not be really in the security room if you need me. It's the first door on the. All right, so this time I'm gonna talk to everyone before I ping them. Hey. Hey. Naoki welcomes me with a half-hearted smile. I'm gonna read these through just in case because Naoki might be responding differently from having seen a corpse. I lean in towards Naoki. Is she okay? She's feeling better. She was crying per- Kangai, I hope you don't mind. How did you know that's- Um, Naoki, please. Sorry. All right, so- So? Uh, I feel like the correct answer is the sixth sense because that gives me the clue about, about the other thing. But I'm just doing everything completely contrary. This is an intelligent run. I will try to be a mastermind on one more run through, I think. I think I'm going to give this game three passes, and I should be able to get the good ending if I'm really careful about it. Just a lucky guess. Truly? Oh, I haven't been saving. Well, whatever. Sophia's eyes narrow. That was definitely not the right answer. Well... You're telling me that out of nowhere you just guessed that something was wrong with Mr. Auten? I... Yes? And this guess was so compelling that you pounded on his office door until we finally opened it? I guess so. Stop lying to me! Mr. Auten is dead and I know you're involved. Why else would he have been so afraid of you? Uh, hang on! Kangai didn't do anything. He just happened to be here today. If it weren't for him, you might not even know that Mr. Auten is dead yet. Sophia's glare softens, but she doesn't take her eyes off of me. Then where did this lucky guess come from? Surely you don't scream outside everyone's door the moment you guess that something has gone wrong. If I were the killer, I wouldn't tell you that Mr. Auten died. I'd run away. The criminal always returns to the scene of the crime. Fine, then how did I do it? I never even saw Mr. Auten. Sophia's expression wavers for a moment. She can't actually think of a good answer. It was you. It had to have been you. Bitch, please. I purse my lips and shake my head. Nothing I say will matter at this point. In time, ooh, my father absolutely hates that phrase. Sophia, I'm so sorry about Mr. Otten, but he's the one who called us here, remember? Naoki tentatively places his hand on Sophia's shoulder. She flinches, but she doesn't move away. I know it's scary, and I know that it's confusing, but I know you're a smart woman, and you know that what you're accusing him of doesn't make sense. We're here to help. Please. Let us help. Ah, what a sweet kid. Sophia breathes in slowly. I'm sorry, I'm jumping to the strangest conclusions here. I must not be in a very good frame of mind right now. Sophia sighs and shuts her eyes. She looks like she wants to cry again. I'm sorry. You really cared about Mr. Oh, so that's important that she has that response. I don't know what I'm going to do now that he's gone. I'm so sorry. He's very, he's just patting the hell out of that shoulder. I'm sorry. I just really. Yeah, sure, thanks. What do you think about Mr. Otten's death? What do I think? I really don't. Oh, yeah, he doesn't like. Yeah, see? That's why I was trying to spare him last time. I really don't like having to see dead bodies. Well, I meant what you think did it. Um. I really. Door slides open. Oh, can I? Hello? Start skipping. So, I'm not sure. Did he die of natural causes? Why would you ask that? William Otten is not a popular man. His business practices are already reprehensible, and there have been rumors of unethical treatment of some of his test subjects. That's why I came. I was hoping I'd be able to uncover something about what he might be doing. So you're really just sneaking around trying to dig up some dirt? It's really not- Okay, then what? This sounds familiar. 
Ah, well, recently. Yeah, anyway, dogfighting. Extre extremely bad. I'm fairly certain he would. Oh, it's hard to. S it would be awfully irresponsible of me to spread false information. So I really need some hard evidence before I say oh, anything that's, else. That's new, isn't it? Right, sure. I wonder if he's a victim of Mr. Rotten's actions in the past. Sure thing. Huh. See you soon. So I guess she, maybe she wanted to exonerate herself, or... I don't know. It, it's so hard to pit, fit together what matters, but I'm pretty sure it's all in the dialogue choices, really. There's, there's some apostry. There's a turtle and some bird. I don't know what those other animals are. I can't identify a tiger. 